We're here at the Lansing Center tonight and 10 individuals that have been nominated from a group of literally hundreds have been selected and they, they're going to be recognized for uh, their tremendous success athletically. Jordan Weaver from DeWitt, our Olympian gymnast. Jim Branstead, our University of Michigan uh, Hall of Fame football player. Alan Heller. Lansing Sexton graduate, NFL player, now an administrator at Michigan State University, going to be recognized. That's only a few. If you look around the room, the number of jerseys and Olympic medals that are on display, these are all local folks that have succeeded athletically. It's really a great attraction just to be here at any time of the year. Part of what we have aspired to do here is develop a wing for all of our athletes with disabilities. I approached Bob Every and the Hall of Fame committee and said, you know what, maybe we're missing a segment here. We have world-class athletes that are right here from in Michigan that are Paralympians or participate in the Victory Games, Cerebral Palsy Game, and the Special Olympics that work as hard and have achieved equal world-class success that I really think should be part of this Hall of Fame. People with disabilities end up getting defined by what their week is at. That can really hurt them emotionally and cause them to not strive for their goals. Being involved in sports, whether it's with a team or individually, it boosts confidence, it makes you stronger, it helps you become a better learner. It's always a positive influence on their life and that's why sports should be celebrated for everyone, not just the able body, but also people with disabilities. We've been able to raise enough dollars now, it's truly developing a display that will uh, represent their great success. And a year from now, at the next Hall of Fame induction ceremony, it'll be in full display for everyone to see.